Hello, Algebra students. Welcome back to another video lesson today uh, where we continue to look at mean, median, and the mode of a data set. Uh, again, our learning target is really to be able to identify which measure is the best measure of center for a particular set of data for that information. So mean, median, and mode. As we briefly talked about, mean is like finding the average of that set of data, right? The average, which means we've got to find the sum or the total of our data set and divide by the number of data pieces that we have, the number of information, okay? The mean is the average. The median is the middle. Right? What's in the middle value of that set of data when the numbers or when the data is in numerical order? Right? We've got to have at least to greatest or greatest to least, and then we can find the middle. And last but not least is the mode, right? the value that occurs the most in a set of data. Two caveats. Number one, it's got to be at least twice. Something has to repeat at least twice for us to have a mode. And there is potential that we could have more than one mode if they repeat the same amount of times. So you need to know the difference between those three, the mean, the median, and the mode. Now, we worked on finding these by hand. However, drum roll please, Desmos can help us find the mean and the median. It really can do it all for you. Uh, Desmos is such a great tool. So I'm going to share a screen with you uh, here in just a second. And here's how it works, OK? When we're in Desmos, and let me just kind of go over to Desmos for a second. The first thing we have to do is type a letter, because we want the system to know this is our set of elements. A, and then we're going to hit equals, and then the bracket, that square bracket, okay? This is what allows us to enter a data set. You'll notice that it's got zero elements. As soon as I start listing something, it'll have one, and then I use a comma, two, comma, three, no spaces needed, right? And then there it tells me that I've got three. So we're going to look at an example in just a moment, right? But the first thing you have to do is pick a letter that you're going to assign to that set, equals, and then brackets. Then you're going to type in your numerical data set with commas and no spaces. Does not have to be in order. Um, we can just put them in the order that they give it to us on the problem. And then we just want to verify our element list. Is that the same number as the, the values that they gave us in the problem? And then we can use these two functions. Type in the word mean parenthesis A, parenthesis. Take the mean of data set A. Take the median of data set A. Now, if for some reason you forget, there is a keyboard in there, and you can go to the functions and stats tab, and then they're there waiting for you. I'll show you how to find those as well. But you might want to just pause this video, take a screenshot of this, or write those notes down. Okay, let's take a look at an example. Right, this is from the packet. This was one of your homework problems the other night where Mr. Stevens was looking up the daily high temperatures in Green Bay during the week of July, the last week of July. So we have that data set, 78 degrees, 91, and so on. So we're going to try and put that into Desmos. Now, I've got them on a separate piece of paper over here. I did not have, whoops, got to make sure we're in the bracket, 78, comma, 91, comma, 78, comma, 97, 80, 85, and 78. So you'll want to make sure, and then I got to close my bracket, you'll want to make sure that the same number you have for this element list here was the same number of elements they gave you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven data entries here. I also have seven data entries there. Perfect. All right, now I'm going to start a new line right here. We can just type in the word mean, parenthesis A, and close the parenthesis, and they give us the average of 83.86, roughly. 83.86. I can go down here to line number three. I could even find the median of set A. They're telling me the middle or the median is 80. All right, and again, if you forget how those words work, come up here to 
uh, are down here to the keyboard. It's hiding underneath my picture. I'm sorry, to the keyboard. Oh, we got to move me out of the way. Down here to the keyboard. And then underneath functions, go to stats. Functions, stats. And you'll see there's the mean, there's the median, there's the minimum, the max. You could even get the total if you wanted the total from that set. So I would come in here into cell four, click on functions, and let's just say that we want to find the mean. There it is. What is our value? Again, A is the table name or the list name. So that's underneath this keyboard function. If I hide it, it's down here in the left. If I wanted to come back up, I go to functions and then I use the different functions. And we are going to use this for some other things coming up uh, within the next couple of weeks. So it'll be very uh, helpful for you to know how and where to find those. All right now, you may be wondering, can I find the mode? All right? It actually doesn't let us find the mode. And truly, we don't need it to find the mode for us because we should be able to just quickly look and identify, oh, in this case, we had one, two, three, seventy-eight. So 78 must be the mode. Okay. So if we were finding that, that mean, that average set, we got 83.86. The mean equals 83.86. How did we get that? We added them up and divided by seven. We found the total and divided by seven. So that's how you can use the Desmos program to help you find mean, median, and mode. Not necessarily the mode, but mean and median. Again, make sure you have some of these notes down uh, for those examples as well. You're going to have a second video coming up here in just a moment on the next, uh, the next classroom task that's going to walk us through a little bit more in-depth examples of finding missing values. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out. Otherwise, until next time, we'll see you soon.